Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to go to another level. So for example, if I walk through this door or want to go into this level, I would just interact with this or walk through it and end up in another room. And let's get started. So I'm just going to right click in my content, create a new blueprint class of an actor, and I'll call this next level trigger. And I'll double click to open up this blueprint editor. And in the class settings, I'm going to go to my implemented interfaces and add ACF interactable interface. And now I'll double click on interacted by pawn to trigger an event. And now I'll just drag this out and do open level by name. And I'm going to copy paste the level name that I want to go to. So this one that I'm using an example is from an asset pack called Low Poly Medieval Interior and Constructions. It's by PolyArt 3D. It's, it might've been, I, it was a free for the month uh, before. And I know currently their free for the month is the top down Viking one, Low Poly Viking top down. And yeah, so we'll just do that. So now I'll hit Control Save. And I'll just add a static mesh. And I'll add a static mesh of this door, hit compile and save. And I'll just add this to the front of this house and I'll size it appropriately. And don't forget when you have your interact stuff, double click on can be interacted and just hit check mark for the return value to make it true. And for the static mesh, I'm just going to make sure that I double check my collisions. So I'll scroll down and change collision presets from block all dynamic to custom and object type will be pawn. And this is just so my, my pawn can interact with this. So I'll hit compile and save. And now when I hit play and interact with this door and click my E button to interact, it's going to take me to this level, but it spawned me in a weird place. So let's go ahead and fix that. So now what I want to do is open up this level that it's going to, and I'm just going to check for that map, which is this map for top down. And it looks like it's, I believe it was spawning me oh, over here. Cause that's where the player start is for some reason. So I'm just going to add a player start. I'm going to add a player start right here. So I've set my player start over here and now I'm going to make a trigger to go back. So I'll just duplicate this and call this back to home and I'll change the mesh just so it's a bit more visible for us in this tutorial. And I'll select this cartoony looking door and hit compile and save. And I will just put that right here and expand it a bit. So it looks a bit bigger, just like that. I need to actually change it back to my, the level name. And it's actually called blocking in this case. So if I were to go back here and it will take me right here and go away. If I were to interact with this door, it will just take me back to this level exactly where the player start is. And yeah, really simple tutorial on basically how to have that transition. So I will just put that here. So for example, if I wanted to go in this house or whatever, I would just interact with this. And now it looks like I'm in the house. Of course, I would want to rotate the level to be sideways because of the way my character directions are and so on. So instead of the house being to the right, I would kind of want more of a top-down view while I'm in something this small. And yeah, that's a really quick and easy tutorial on how to transition levels. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next. I'll see you in the next video. Feel free to join our Discord community and Patreon by using the links below in the description. Thanks for watching.